budding and and how that means war and and Joseph you know as as we're talking about this I, I just I always kind of look at things maybe maybe or, or at least attempt to look at things in different ways and, and one question that I had um, was so so we're we're all we're all looking at ISIS right now we're all looking at the extreme uh, Islamic groups that are that are causing so much terror in the world and then we go into this this uh, Daniel eight vision here and and we we've explained it before on the show but we talk about how basically they're gonna they're gonna make war with Europe and then Europe is going to to basically come in and and wipe them out you know and 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 so I had this question okay can I hold you on your question yeah. Because we started to talk about this, and you just brought it up again. Um, I sent you a note here on the United Nations. Do you want to read that? Because that this is important here about what's going on. This took place last Friday. Uh, where did you send the note? I didn't see That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. I didn't get it. Okay. Um, <laughs> did I send? send? There oh, it no, is. I didn't send I've it. Got it. <laughs> I've got it right there. Uh, okay. okay. So, yeah, you want me to read that? Yeah. All right. Um, it says the United Nations has called the states to fight a global and unprecedented threat to international peace and security, which is the Islamic State, ISIS. Uh, all 15 members of the UN Security Council voted to adopt the French proposed resolution. The resolution calls upon member states that have the capacity to do so to take all necessary measures on the territory under the control of ISIS in Syria and Iraq. Okay, um, that's good enough. Okay. This... You know, the Bible talks about the beast power in the last days. Yeah. But you got to understand that this beast power is a government system. It's the same government system of Babylon, same government system of Egypt. It's the same one right from the beginning. The, the, the Assyrians were a government system. It's a government system. So in order for them to invade the Middle East, they have to have justification. They have to have a law saying that it's legal for them to do that. And this United Nations has just made this law. And oh. it's also under NATO, which is what we started to talk today about with um, Turkey. Mm -hmm. Turkey is a member of the NATO alliance, of which Europe is, of which the United States and Canada are. If Russia attacks a Turkey in retaliation for that jet being shot down today, then Russia is also going to be attacking all of us at the same time. Wow. So this that's why that's such a huge thing. And th the implications are serious. So if Russia retaliates, Turkey can call on NATO to come to its aid to fight Russia. Wow. This is almost like World War I um, on the assassination of the, um, I forgot his name, and then all these other countries started to come in and get involved in the war. Yeah. yeah. So wow. this is the beast power now has justification to attack ISIS or the Middle East. But this is, this is not the, the Daniel 8 coming back against it. It's a precursor. Now this has been prepared, but there's something else coming. There's got to be another attack. That ram has got to butt Europe again. And I'm saying it's going to be Rome. Because that puts the Pope out of the Vatican for some reason. Yeah. Well, and, and then they're going to come against the Middle East like a whirlwind with many ships. Then you're going to see this ISIS destroyed. Now, you're going to ask me something about Christianity there well, before yeah, I interrupt it, you. It, it makes sense to me, looking at, looking at history per se, but also looking at what you just said. Uh, you know they're gonna they're gonna butt against you know Rome, which is I mean that that is the center of. Christianity, uh, they're going to butt against Rome, and and then Rome, you know Europe's going to have to come in and 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 basically deal with the issue. And so I, my question is, everybody's focused on extreme Islamic terror, but but would it be far fetched to say that this this <laughs> this terror that is actually going to be coming could and will be uh, involving Christian nations against Israel? Uh, is is that something that would be far fetched to say? Not at all. When you look at the the atrocities that the uh, Catholicism did during the Middle Ages against uh, the rest of the world, yeah, the severe torture and the the crucifixions that they did, or cruci uh, and and the torture that they did, it rivals or surpasses what ISIS is doing. Yeah. 
That, that's that's what I was thinking. That, that's the reason I asked the question because I look at like you know <laughs> when Constantine came into play here, right? And, and he and he Christianized everything, and he killed all these any anything Hebrew and anybody who wasn't willing to be a Christian, he slaughtered them. And and I look at that today, you know, it's, it's almost like this ISIS thing could be. So I mean, I, I don't want to belittle it at all, but it almost could be a smokescreen to keep people deceived into missing the actual, <laughs> what, what is actually going to be taking place. Well, okay, so you're right. <laughs> you're, well, if, you're very right. And I don't, I don't know if you, I think you're just really serious about asking questions. You don't really know what you're fishing at here, do you? I, I'm, I'm seriously asking questions. I see. Okay. Here's, here's the thing. I got to be honest. I haven't read the entire book of 2300 days, so it may be addressed in there. And I haven't gotten through that book it, like a lot of people, I think, because as I read it, I just have to stop on the little nuggets that I've read and, and think. So yeah, that, that's that's awesome. Everyone's saying the same thing. They read one page, two pages, and they got to stop because it just hurts their brain. So here's what you've just said. You've just said what it says in Isaiah, uh, either 13 or 16, or maybe it's Isaiah 10, I forget which. Um, Assyria is the rod that Jehovah is going to use to punish Israel. Yeah. Assyria. Well, who is Assyria? That's that's now, the important thing there. <laughs> yes. Now, we've explained this in our teaching called Assyria, and Assyria is Germany. Now, okay, now go to Psalm 83. And it says all these Arab nations are joining together to fight against Israel, and Assyria is in with them. Yeah. Germany's in with them. So now what's going on? You've just witnessed the mass immigration, immigration, what a funny word that is, this mass invasion of hundreds of thousands of Syrian refugees, ha, 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 to huh. Europe and especially to Germany. Yeah. Daniel 11 says that the beast, which is Europe, will conquer by a god of um, forces. This god of forces is Semiramis or Sybil or the Blessed Virgin Mary. Hmm. That's the god of forces. And then right after that, it says, but it will turn to another God that his fathers never knew. Who's the, that? It's Islam. Islam only come on the scene in the 700s. Yeah, wow. So that's the new God. And now look what's invading Europe. There is a, not, it's a civilization crisis. It's a religion crisis. Because you have two opposite religions banging head, butting against each other. Huh. Germany, wow. when Europe is in, provoked next time, when Rome is attacked, Europe is going to come down, Germany is going to come down, and it's going to smack the Middle East, and it says in Daniel 8, it's going to destroy that ram, and no one's going to help it, and it will never get up. And the point I was going to mention is, if if that happens and they take out this radical Islamic faction, then there's no way that could be bad, you know, in people's minds. That new power is going to be, it's going to have free reign to do whatever. Okay, yes. But then look what it says about the, the great image that Daniel also talked about. What is it, Daniel 2 or 4? This great image, the head of gold, the head, arms of silver, the body of brass, and the legs of iron, and the toes of mari, iron, and clay. Iron and clay, yes. The word clay in Hebrew is er, um, Arab. Hmm. Wow. That iron, that iron is a known nationality trait of the Germans. The iron fist, the iron cross. Mm -hmm. So when iron you curtain. put the iron Germany in with the clay Arab Muslims, what does it say in Daniel? They don't, they don't mix. Yeah. But they're going to be working together. Germany, really interesting. Europe is going to take over the Middle East. That's, that goes back to the Holy Roman Empire 
the fourth beast of Daniel that never goes away until the stone comes out of heaven and destroys it. That's where we are. We're at this point where this beast power is about to take over the Middle East by force. But it's going to happen by provocation from the Middle East budding against Europe. Daniel 8. That's where we are. And then, right after that, then. Now, I've been thinking about this all day today. How is it going to have legal justification to attack the United States? Hmm. A preemptive a, a strike. Germany's already said they would do that. The United States has said they would do that. Now, President Obama is going to be out of office in 2016. 2017 begins the probably the new president. And if you get a hawk in there like Donald Trump, you're going to have somebody in there trying to push his weight around whenever the world is not ready for the United States to push your weight around. Because the United States is no longer respected by the rest of the world because of the weak leaders you've had in the office for the last little while. Yep. So you get somebody in there threatening to to push their way back in, threatening to use their muscle again, whenever, because it says in Daniel 11, he's going to invade the Middle East and the Holy Land and Libya and Egypt are going to be at his feet and Ethiopia. That's North Africa. But Jordan will escape out of his hands because Jordan's, for some reason, is pretty good with the Germans right now. They have a lot of treaties with the Germans right now. So you got this whole big, massive area, North Africa, the Middle East, and Europe coming under one ruler. And the United States trying to push back against them. Mm. I'm thinking a preemptive strike. Yeah. I don't you know. I'm just guessing at that. I don't know for sure. I'm just guessing. That's just my own personal opinion. So don't, you know, don't write me and say, Joe, you're a false prophet. It wasn't a preemptive. <laughs> I don't know. But that's what I'm thinking. How else could it happen? Or maybe it be these 250,000 refugees being brought in by Obama this year. Yeah. Wow. Who knows? Or maybe it's the open borders you have with Mexico right now, and they're already coming in that way with the Mexican cartel. You guys are in a lot of trouble down there. Yeah, there's there's got, a lot of things going on down here. You got a lot of problems going on there. So, is Christianity going to be involved? Yes. Are they capable of doing